guys my name is David Okon welcome to my channel I want to show you how to use the 2d camera in clip studio paint for your animation please before we continue on the lesson please like subscribe and comment and share this video if it's really really very helpful to you now let's jump right in uh, right now so I'm going to click the play button so you can see what this 2D camera is doing right here. I'll click the play button now. Notice it's zooming in so we can see the window. I'm going to show you how to do that in just in a very short minute. I have to do a little bit kind of advance, a little advanced uh, camera movement using keyframe into the camera let me press the pause button the stop let me stop it now now let's do that quickly now this is the camera folder let me go uh, before we start that let's create file the new i'm using the clip studio ex version you can also do that in the, in the pro version but it's limited because it has limited uh, uh, space for animation because it has a 24 frame per seconds but the es version has more than that so this is an illustration but we are coming to this place and this is an um, animation uh, you can use let's use this preset 190 then I want to change much here let's click ok so right here we have the animation folder is quite different from the normal layer so anytime you want to create a new layer don't use this it has a different layer it just come here so what we'll do now right now is this uh, let's go to the clip studio asset and get an image which we can use um let's see look at this one over here if i can get some illustration here from the background Okay, let me use this. Let me scroll down a little bit. Oh, let me use this. So you can drag it in here. All right. So the next thing we're gonna do is this. We're going to get this camera. Go to animation here the new animation layers then to the camera folder you click on this so because we want to uh, make the camera movement to reflect on the animation we have to click on this animation folder and drag it inside the camera folder so right now it's inside the camera folder so whatever action we take on the camera folder is going to affect the animation so let's click on this so we uh, we're okay with this now i want to zoom in to this window here now i want to click on keyframe keyframe this add keyframe so you see this button that shows here immediately we click on this this shows here then we can drag it up to like let's say 58 then we adjust the camera make sure it's on the object adjust it we can adjust it a little bit a little bit i think we're okay with this immediately you are done it automatically set up a keyframe so it moves from here towards this direction 
Now I want to show you something in case of maybe you realize that um, the camera is not actually working. This could, this could also be the problem. For instance, let me come here animation, playback settings, and this is turned off. If I click on play, this is showing, but it seems the camera is not working like what we uh, saw at the first part of this video. That's the data. I'll show you the cause of that. Let's go back, come to back, come to the animation, and then I'm sure menu come to playback settings then click on render 2d camera check that then you come here and press play so it follows the direction of what we just position the same thing applies if you want to zoom out too if you want to zoom out very simple to do that So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do a complex uh, camera to follow each, like something like this. Let me show you just a like this um, the jump animation which I did. When I play it, it's like it follows. So it follows it. Let me click on pause so it follows it frame by frame, frame by frame, frame by frame. It's the same process, frame by frame, frame by frame. See, so you got the last bit. So you keep frame everything, so you get the last point of it. So, thank you. Please like and subscribe. Share it to your friends if it's really, really helpful to you. Bye. See you in the next video.